been a long day, guys. But welcome to the sweet outdoors. My next two weeks is going to be hectic. So I don't know if I'll be able to put the video out or not. I'm going to try. No promises. My son from Idaho is down what you've seen. Well, my two granddaughters from Jacksonville from my other son will be down as well for the week, for 10 days. I'm gonna have a house full. Anyway, we have a product review today. No, it's not Mr. Tackle Box. It's something that I think y'all will enjoy maybe a little bit more. It's a Glock 81. It's a Glock 81. Glock 81 field knife. I've been looking forward to this for a while. Finally decided to bite the bullet and buy the knife. Now, if you see me looking off to the side, I'm reading notes. Sorry, I just got it today. Haven't really had a chance to do anything with it except open it. All right the handle and the sheet is the same polymer as the handles and everything on the Glock pistols. It's made by Glock, made in Austria for the military. This is the model 81 which was designed in 1981 because of the saw back on it. The model 78 does not have that. A real good feel it was okay sharp out of the box it'll, it'll need some work definitely got a bottle opener here the overall length of the knife is almost 11 and a half inches 11.4 the blade length is six and a half very nice 3 16 inch thick this is a stabbing knife this is what this was designed for. It's not a chopper. You can you can uh, butterfly wood and stuff like that. It's a great field knife. A great field knife. Uh, it's Glock. It's Glock. What can I say? Uh, polymer leather. It's made out of spring steel, not carbon steel. It's spring steel tool steel. It can be sharpened pretty good. Now, the case, like I said, the same polymer as the handle and as the Glock pistols. This cool little lock right here to for the belt loop. You know, just put it on there and you do it up, run your belt through it, however you want to do it. This right here is a lock. Either way you put this knife in, it's going to hold. Locks down in place. It's not coming out. You actually have to lift this up to pull free. There's a drainage hole in the bottom in case it fills up with water. There's a little hole right here. Leg strap. Not like it hangs down that far, but you know, depending on how you want to mount it, maybe you want to mount it to your pack. Now, this little cap right here comes off, and there it's it's a hollow tube that goes about this far down you can use this as a bayonet there's a certain way that you can hook it up to use it on a bayonet on a certain style rifle I'm not sure because I didn't buy it for that my thoughts pull that out maybe some fire tender or a small fishing kit but from what I understand it looking at other YouTube videos sensible prepper and those guys it's a pain in the butt to get out so we're just gonna leave it there this is the earth green maybe or the battlefield green I don't know it's green I call it OD green I wanted the black but for some reason they want ten dollars more for the black one this is just fine all the reviews I've seen on this knife are outstanding. There was very few complaints. Uh, again, it's not a chopper. You're not going to chop a tree down yet. It's not used for chopping. Uh, 
once it's good and sharp, <clears throat> you could probably process an animal. As thick as this blade is, I don't know how good you're going to fillet a fish with it. Uh, very good camp knife. Self-defense knife. A lot of people use it as a thrower. I have not yet. Like I said, I just got it. So I haven't thrown it yet. Don't know if I want to. It's it's not real heavy. Uh, seven ounces total. Another half an ounce maybe for the sheath. <clears throat> My overall first impression. I'll give it two thumbs up. I like it. Like I said, I've been putting it off. I've wanted one for a while. And I finally decided to do it. How much does it cost? 80 bucks? Nope. Remember what I said in the beginning. Budget friendly channel. Buying stuff that you like on a budget. This is probably probably one of my more expensive knives on a budget too the Ontario Trading Company OKC Old Hickory came in at $24 is what I paid for it on eBay I picked this little treasure right here up on Amazon for 35 bucks and like I said the black one was 45 bucks I'm not paying ten dollars for a different color. I'm not gonna do it. I like the knife. I, like I said, I, a two thumbs up for me. I suggest you get out and buy one if that's what you're into. But if you're watching this channel, you are. And uh, I think I've already promoted this to my pack knife just because of the way I like it. I like the way it feels. I like the grip. I like the blade. <clears throat> I'm going to sharpen it up some more. And it comes with a bottle opener. What's not to love? So, uh, I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe, notification, thumbs up, all the good stuff. And, uh, what? Oh, yeah. Forgot. What about this knife? I picked up two more knives that I've been wanting. They're not practical at all. But I like them and I wanted them. I got me two Gambrit, Cambrit, whatever you pronounce them, neck knives. They are not tactical. Well, I guess they are tactical. They're not practical. This is dull. This is not. I'm not going to skin a deer with this. I'm not going to skin a squirrel or a rabbit. I'm going to stick somebody in the freaking throat if I have to with this. That's what this is for. This, this is a killing knife and not of animals. This is a self-defense. There's all kinds of methods on how to use this. Check out the guy from Forged in Steel. He can show you all kinds of stuff. I cannot. This is my first set. I haven't messed with them yet. Uh, they kind of freak me out a little bit, so I'm worried about cutting myself. But they are pretty cool, though. They'll probably just go in the drawer and stay there. I mean, I, just, I like knives. I'm sorry. All right. That's all I got to say about that. So, uh, y'all guys enjoy. Be careful out there. God bless. And get outside. <laughs>